गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड डूइंग वेल माई सेल्फ आलोक योर मॉरल साइंस टीचर आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू इन दिस मॉरल साइंस क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड रीडिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ लेसन नंबर एट एंड इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट रेस्ट ऑल द रिमेनिंग एक्टिविटीज ऑफ लेसन एट ओके सो इन लास्ट क्लास इट वॉज एक्सप्लेन द थीम ऑफ द लेसन दैट यूनिटी वॉट इज हैपनिंग वी ऑल आर द लिप्स ऑफ सेम ब्रांच एंड वी आर द फ्रूट्स ऑफ सेम ट्री सो देर फॉर दैट वी ऑल आर द सेम वी मस्ट बी यूनाइटेड वी शुड नॉट हेट एनी पर्सन वी मस्ट ऑफर आवर हेल्प टू एवरी वन दिस ऑल द थिंग्स वी हैव लर्न इन चैप्टर नंबर एट सो नॉट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट द ऑल द रिमेनिंग एक्टिविटीज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट हियर फर्स्ट एक्टिविटी इट इज दैट एक्टिविटी नंबर वन इट इज एक्सप्लेन लोलिंदा एंड चुंगू आर हेल्पिंग टू एजुकेट द नेबर्स चिल्ड्रेन चिल्ड्रेन मस्ट रिसीव अ प्रोपर एजुकेशन इफ द वर्ल्ड इज टू बिकम अ बेटर प्लेस रीड द फॉलोइंग प्रेयर सो वाट हियर इट इज एक्सप्लेन इट इज एक्सप्लेन हियर दैट लोलिंदा एंड चुंगू वट दे आर डूइंग ऑल दो दे आर द स्मॉल किड्स दे आर द एज ऑफ लाइक योर एज बट दे स्टिल दे आर थिंकिंग अबाउट दिज सोसाइटी एंड दे आर एजुकेटिंग दे आर टीचिंग सम चिल्ड्रेंस दे आर कलेक्टिंग सम चिल्ड्रेन एंड दे आर टीचिंग ओके दे आर टीचिंग दे आर नेबरिंग चिल्ड्रेन सो वट वॉट इट इज गिवन चिल्ड्रेन मस्ट रिसीव अ प्रोपर एजुकेशन इफ द वर्ल्ड इज टू बिकम अ बेटर प्लेस इफ वी वॉन्ट दैट दिस वर्ल्ड शुड बी योर सोसाइटी योर वर्ल्ड वेर यू आर लिविंग दैट इट शुड बी अ बेटर प्लेस सो वट we should do that we must teach the children the children must get the proper education then only the society will become this world will become a better place so here a prayer it is given so first we are going to i am going to explain this prayer okay and then on we are going to meditate on this prayer that what prayer is saying and then we will learn the prayer now i am going to explain the meaning of this prayer okay let me take this highlighter okay now here the prayer it is given that o thou kind lord o thou kind lord these lovely children are the handy work of thy fing the finger of thy might and the wondrous sight sight signs sorry wondrous signs of thy greatness o god protect the children graciously assist them to be educated and enable them to render service to the world of humanity okay this is the prayer so let's understand this prayer just now i have completed the reading of this prayer once again i am reading o thou kind lord these lovely children are the handy works handy work of the fingers of thy might and the wondrous signs of thy greatness o god protect the children graciously assist them to be educated and enable them to render service to the world of humanity now let's understand the meaning of this prayer what in this prayer we are asking from god okay so here we are asking in first line o thou kind lord these lovely children are handy work of the finger of thy might and the wondrous sign of thy greatness so in this first line we are saying to god o thou kind lord okay these lovely children this prayer is for the children okay these lovely children are handy work so first you have to understand what is handy work means the meaning of handy work is that work done by the hands or in another another word synonyms can be there handicraft means the work which is done by hand it is called handy works so all these lovely children it means we all are the handy works of the finger of thy might we are saying to god 
that we all childrens are the handiwork means you have made from your finger handiworks means work done by hand so god has created by created all the children to all the people on this earth by his finger of thy might you have created us by the finger of thy might might means power strength we are saying to god that we all children are the handiwork of thy finger uh, handiworks of the fingers of thy might and the wondrous sign of thy greatness what is wondrous wondrous means amazing wonderful okay so all the children we all are wondrous signs of thy greatness because you are so great so we are the wondrous amazing sign of your greatness so in the because of your greatness wondrous sign of your greatness you have created us okay first line it is saying the next line it is saying that o oh god protect the children we are asking from god that oh god protect the children please protect us we are asking to god please protect us oh god protect us protect the children graciously what is the graciously means in gracious manner graciously here it is given g r a c i o u s l y graciously means that in gracious manner gracious manner means that uh, with grace means that o oh god protect the children in graciously uh, children graciously means you have to give us your grace you have to give your blessings assist them to be educated means we are asking from god that god assist us to be educated and enable them to render service make us enable all the children make the all the children enable to serve the whole world of humanity the whole humanity they can serve we are asking from god that you miss you because you are the created you are the creator you have created by the finger of thy might okay and we all the children are the wonder sign of thy greatness so god please protect us all the children protect the, all the children and assist to be educated give the proper education assist us to educate and make us enable to render our service to the whole world of humanity so this is the prayer okay now we are asking here it is asked that you may now wish to memorize the above prayer so what we will do now already now you have understood the meaning of this prayer okay so what you will do now you will try to learn this prayer okay the next activity it is given here hard words is whatever words just now have explained in this prayer and some more words will come in the activity number 2 so all those words i have here mentioned okay one by one i am going to explain you the meaning so what you will do you will write these all the words in your copy and try to not try to learn all the words nicely with their meaning so the first word word it is handiwork handiwork already i have explained the work done by the hands if any work which is done by the hand it is known as the handiwork okay the synonyms of handiwork is handicraft also it can be said next word is might might means power or strength next word is wondrous wondrous means amazing or wonderful okay the next word it is graciously graciously means in a gracious manner or with grace in gracious manner or with grace the next word is fortress further it will come just i'm going to explain these words fortress fortress means a castle or a place of security uh, security in hindi it is known as the durg or kila okay fortress fortress means a castle like all the kings kingdom before there used to be different kingdoms so all the kings what they used to do they used to make the fort around there used to make the boundary 
so that is known as the fortress okay or a castle the next word is that boastful what is the meaning of boastful meaning of boastful is that uh, tending to boast tending to boast means that what is happening so many people they are having any wealth or any things so what they are always they are praising himself many a times that i am having this thing that thing so many things i have done that work means like although this kind of thing so this is known as the boastful means hindi you can say that sekhi bagharna or ding hakne wala okay so that is known as the boastful boastful means a person who is always praising himself by giving so many praise or giving so many that uh, i have done this work i am having this all so many things it is explained okay so that is known as the boastful next one is the considerate the meaning of considerate is caring okay when we care any person that is called considerate and the last word it is the envy envy means ill feeling or hat hatred ill feeling means like any person is that when you have ill feeling means bad feeling for others if you hate any person that is that feeling is known as the envy in hindi it is called irsya or dvesh okay so these are the some hard words which will be used in this chapter so all the hard words you will write down in your copy and try to learn these hard words okay now let's go to the activity number 2 what is the activity number 2 activity number 2 it is given that children learn in many places at home in school and in classes everywhere where miss children all the children they are learning at different places when they are at home they are also learning at home by their parents they are seeing that how their parents are behaving in that manner and what is taught to them they are learning when they are at the school in school also they are learning when they are in the class they are also they are learning and in the class for moral and spiritual education everywhere they are learning so now here it is given which of the following should be taught in these places if children are to grow into adults who can contribute towards building a better world so now here some uh, thoughts are given so what things should be taught to the children it is given which of the following should be taught to the children these places like at home school and in the classes of the moral science or and spiritual education so what things should be taught or at these places if children are to be grown if you want that children should grow and to become an adult who can contribute towards the building to be to make this world a better place so which things should be taught to the children so here it is given one by one we are going to read and we are we are going to tick here that which things should be taught to the children okay now so here first wait first one it is given not wishing for anyone what that which they do not wish for themselves what do you think it should be taught yes of course we should teach this thing to the children what it is saying it is saying that not wishing for anyone that which they do not wish for themselves if anything we don't want for ourselves we should not wish that thing for others okay so that thing is there so it is true i we have to tick here next one is that loving everyone even those who mistreat them we must teach the children everyone children must be taught that we must love everyone okay we must love love everyone even those who mistreat them if any person has mistreat or done bad behavior then also we should love them okay we should not take revenge the third one it is given acting cruelly 
towards those who are unkind to them no we should not become cruel okay we should not become cruel this should not be taught in the class so there you will put the cross okay now next one it is given getting back to those who wrong them it should not be it is also not should not taught in the class why it is given that uh, getting back at those who wrong them so we should not do like this getting we should not get back to those who wrong them next one is that respecting the rights of every human being okay it should be taught to all the children that we must respect everyone's right all the human beings right we should not hurt anyone this is true next one it is given that protecting their own rights even when doing so hurts others of course we must protect our rights but if anyone is being hurt by that so we should not hurt anyone so here it is given that protect their own rights it is right but the last word it is given protect their own rights even when doing so hurt others if anyone is getting hurt so we should not do that work so it is wrong okay now some more here things are given so let's understand this also first one it is given understanding that god's love is like a strong fortress just now i have explained you meaning of fortress fortress means a safe place okay castle or a safe place so understanding that god's love is like a strong fortress that will protect them from danger so this is true we must remember this thing okay so first one it will be true the next one it is given taking care of their own needs first before thinking about others it should not be taught to the children that taking care of their own needs first before thinking about others no we must taught the children we must teach the children that first we have to take care of others need then you have to think about yourself okay so it is wrong next one is that preferring others over themselves it is true okay we must prefer others over themselves before themselves they must prefer others being generous and sharing what they have with others okay being generous we must be generous whatever things we are having we must share our things with others it is true okay and next one it is given not taking anything that belongs to someone else it is also true means we should not take anything that belongs to someone else if someone is offering help so we can accept that but without anyone's permission we should not take anyone's things okay which does not belongs from you so it is true next one it is given being boastful about what they own it should not be there already i have explained you what is the meaning of boastful meaning of boastful means tending to boast tending to boast means whatever things you are having they own like whatever possessions you are having always you praise about yourself to others it should not be done okay next one it is given serving all people without thinking about whether they are friends or strangers rich or poor yes we must serve every person without thinking that whether they are our friend or strangers even rich or poor does not matter we must offer our help equally to everyone it is true being truthful and not telling even the smallest lie this is also true that we must be truthful and we should not tell a single lie okay even the smallest lie okay the next page the last one it is there here it is given loving god and obeying his teachings it is true everyone every person should 
love God and obey His teaching. So how you will know that what is the teaching of God? It is given in all the holy writings, different different holy writings. What in which manner we have to behave? What are the teachings of God? Okay. So this is one is true. Now next one, being humble before God and His servant. Yes, we must be humble in front of God and His servants. Showing pride towards others. Now see here, here pride. The word pride can be used in two manners. So here the word pride it is used in negative manner. Showing pride towards other. You should not be having the pride on your things in front of others. Okay. The next one is that being considerate and kind towards everyone. Yes, so already I have explained you what is the meaning of considerate. Meaning of considerate means caring. We must care everyone towards everyone and we must be kind. Cleansing the mirror of the heart from jealousy and envy. We must like our heart is like a mirror so time to time we must polish our mirror like what is happening on the mirror when the dust it is coming so what is happening we are cleaning the dust if dust will be that so it will not reflect the light properly so that thing is happen our heart will reflect the god's virtue when you will clean your heart mirror of your heart from jealousy and envy we should not jealousy and envy should not come in our heart so it is true. Next one is that finding ways to bring joy to the heart of other. Yes, we must find the way how we can bring the joy for others, other hearts. Treating unkindly those who make mistake. No, we should not treat unkindly who are making mistake. Okay. Forgiving those who make mistakes yes you must forgive those who are making mistake next one is that being happy and joyful even in difficult time yes when you are having a difficult time that time also you feel the joyful and happy and you should face the difficult moment easily okay you should not become afraid so this is all for today now let's come to the homework what is today's homework? First homework it is that write and learn the hard words of lesson 8 with their meanings. Whatever hard words it is explained in this chapter, all the hard words you will write and learn. Next one is the memorize the prayer of lesson 8. Whatever prayer it is explained in this chapter, that prayer everyone will memorize. And the last homework it is here complete the activity 2 of lesson 8 in book. Activity 2, I just now have explained afterwards. So that activity 2 you will complete in your book only. And try to learn also that. So that is all. Thank you students. That is all for today. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day.